All right, so discussing uh, question two, the first part of question two says, what does of the same essence mean? Um, and I looked up a definition for essence, and it says that is the intrinsic nature or indispensable quality of something, especially something abstract that determines its character. Um, so if you're talking about what being of the same essence means, I would say it means being one and the same. But also you see in that definition the idea that it has to do with the intrinsic nature of something or something that determines its character. So I think saying that Jesus and God are of the same essence means that they have the same intrinsic nature, the same thing about them that determines their character even though they are different, um, it's the same nature and character that they both have. And in the second part of the question, which says, even if the Trinity is beyond our comprehension, how would you translate that into everyday language? Um, this is a question that uh, I've struggled with a lot. I met a lot of Muslims when I went to Egypt back in the spring and this is one topic that they really just have a hard time wrapping their brains around is the Trinity and so trying to explain it to people I usually try to point to scripture point back to scripture and um, because nothing I say is going to convince them only only the word of God will and so one of my favorite passages to go back to uh, which is even mentioned in the book is Hebrews 1 verse 3 where it talks about God or Jesus being the exact imprint of God's nature and being um, a ray uh, that reflects his light to the world and so I think that example of having the the rays from the sun both are light but they are different things um and so when you look at what light is, it's light, whether it comes from the sun or whether it comes from the sun's rays. Um, and they're both the same in intrinsic nature, rays and the sun, because they're both light. And this is how I would go about translating something like this today. Um, I would try to point to a scripture like Hebrews and use that to then expound on that. And I think you also see this when Jesus is described as the light of the world, and when he tells us that we are the light of the world, it's Christ in us that makes us lights to the world as we live out the life of Jesus. So even as Jesus is light, just as God is light, when he comes to dwell inside of us with the Spirit, we're also called lights of the world. Um, not to say that we are the exact nature of God, but God in us makes us light to the rest of the world. So all of that summed up is how I would kind of go about talking to somebody in today's language um, rather than using the words of the same essence. But I still would use a lot of the same words that I found in that definition.